guys and welcome to today's episode. I gave you my heart. Guys, it is October 26th. I just want to get this out of the way. Yesterday, I found out that there is a Japanese festival here in Las Vegas called Aki Matsuri. And I was so depressed because I would have went to that festival had I known about it a lot sooner. But um, you know what? Next year, I am definitely going to go and I'm going to vlog it because that seems so amazing. I'm sorry, my cat keeps messing with my cat, you know second thing I wanted to show you guys because I have no friends the things that I got from Aliexpress uh, just recently like a couple weeks ago they came in the mail but it takes a few weeks to get here so I've been waiting for this stuff for a long time so let's get into this man um, first thing I got it's not um, I don't have a lot of things so I can't do a proper haul so just gonna show you real quick before we get to the figure so this thing is a Sailor Moon mouse pad, and it is so big and cute. I absolutely love it. Um, the print on it is very, very good. Like, um, there's no mistakes on the print-wise. Like, it's very nice. The only thing I had a problem with is you could see the, the creases because they rolled it. Like, like, you know, they rolled it like a little mat. Um, so I was kind of mad about that because I can't get this flattened. Like, no matter what I try to do, see that? I can't get this out. But other than that, I really, really like this. This is so cute to go underneath my laptop, you know, because it's a mouse pad. So I put it underneath my laptop and use it for a mouse pad. So yeah, that's, I really like this a lot. The second thing I got is this pretty cool, um, Shenron piggy bank thing um, right there is where you put the coins in obviously and then the bottom is where you get the coins out but it is very very cool like I am very happy with it I only paid her <laughs> sorry she got her head stuck in the cup oh. I only paid about ten dollars for this uh, maybe it was even nine dollars and some change I will put how much I paid for it on the screen somewhere so just to show you guys um, but yeah I feel like this is at the quality where if it was any more expensive I probably would be very upset but um, as it was only like nine or ten dollars like I'm happy with it the reason why I say that is because it smells very weird like a plastic like it's a weird kind of plastic I know you're like okay Jasmine is plastic but my mind thought it was gonna be glass but then I'm sorry guys just ignore what's going on over there but I thought it was gonna be glass but it's actually plastic um, but the little whisker, I guess, Shenron's whisker, it keeps popping off. So it's kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, I'm sure you could fix that with some super glue and a dream. But, yeah, other than that, I'd say it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's definitely worth $10, but no more than $10. Um, the third thing that I got was this really cute um, Mount Fuji pin. I guess I'll try to, like, put it like that so you could see it. But there's Mount Fuji and a cloud I'm so sorry it's not like not focusing the lighting's messing up but yeah there it is it's a it's a cloud in Mount Fuji it's a two it's two separate pins but it has a chain connecting them so this is really cute I think this was um, maybe a dollar or something like that maybe two dollars but it was really really cheap and I, I really like this So literally like from far away you cannot see any of the blemishes on this figure so I was beginning to think like wow this is a really really decent figure until I took a closer look. The first thing I noticed is that the stand is really scratched there's about two or three scratches right at the bottom as soon as I took a closer look it was really easy to see. 
Guys, I turned this figure around and look at the black scratches, like all these blemishes. The paint job was super, super sloppy. The figure wasn't sculpted together correctly. You can see the hair was kind of like, it was just very sloppy job. Like the hair was entangled with each other and it was just really, really bad. The worst part about this figure probably has to be her thighs, right where her stockings meet her thighs. You can just tell that the paint job and the sculpt job was just so, so bad. I don't even know what to say about that. I honestly don't know what to say about this figure. I honestly am just like speechless of how crappy the quality is. Now honestly, I wasn't expecting something fantastic because I did get this off of AliExpress. So just so you know that AliExpress and Wish.com is all fake figures. So just so you are aware that it is fake figures and I just had to do a couple tests to make sure that was in fact correct and it is. So they are all fake figures just so you guys know. Um, so don't buy anything expecting them to be great quality or anything like that or original figures. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the bootlegged version and the original Sega figure. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video because that is a video that I am very much looking forward to. But I thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.